Hello, my name's Lewis, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the EM5 Mark III. So this camera sits right in the OMD lineup, right in between the EM10 and the EM1 range of cameras. So you get the best features from the EM1 in a nice, compact, lightweight body, similar to that that you would find on the EM10 range. It's perfect for travel, vlog, adventures, and sharing your experiences with your friends and family. So here I have it paired with the 12 to 45 Pro lens. But when you look at the camera body itself, you can see just how ergonomically perfect it is. It's been chamfered nicely just to fit in your hand, regardless of whether you are doing a selfie, because you see on the back here, there is another grip for you to hold it facing yourself like that. But ergonomically, it's been nicely improved. It's been refined. It's nice, small and lightweight, but still keeping this nice and easy to use kind of feel. You see the dials on the front and back make it easy to get around the menus and also the electronic viewfinder on there which has been improved so that it is nice and easy to use, nice, clear and crisp regardless of whether you are wearing glasses or not as well. So again, looking back at the body, you can see it's got a full very angle swivel screen which means if you're shooting from above you can see what your camera is doing but likewise you can shoot from below but you can also switch it around to get that selfie screen. And when you have finished with it and you don't want to use it anymore, you can turn it back on itself and keep it nice and protected. Now all the ergonomics and functionality aside, just looking at the thing, you can see how beautifully retro and pretty it is. It's been a lot of engineering and a lot of work going into this to keep the heritage from the older system cameras, especially the OM range of cameras. So you've still got the pentaprism viewfinder style in on there and it's a very retro classic feel. In fact, you could even be mistaken for it being an older film camera until you get close and see all the dials and features on the top. So let's give a quick rundown on the top features of this camera. With it being a micro four thirds mount, it does mean that you can use other lenses on there as well. Even if you want to use some of the older manual lenses, you can use that with an adapter. But doing that, you will lose some features, such as the high speed autofocus that they have worked so well and engineered so perfectly to get a really crisp, clean and reliable autofocus system in there. It will utilize all 121 autofocus points, but it also has face and eye detect autofocus. So as you're vlogging, as you're taking selfies, or even taking that family shoot, or if you are going on adventures out there and you're trying to get that photograph of somebody stood on the top of a mountain, providing you're close enough, it will track the face and it'll prioritize their eye. And it is really, really responsive. So it's perfect for anything from portrait photographers to adventures, to families, to whatever it may be. The autofocus system here, you know that you can rely on it every single time. Speaking of being out and about with your adventures and up a mountain or wherever you may be, uh, if you're wanting that super high resolution image, you can use a feature in there called high resolution mode. So although it is a 20 megapixel sensor, you can use the movement of the sensor, which will bring you the image stabilizer as well, which we'll talk about in a moment. And you can use that to get a 50 megapixel high resolution image, which is perfect for landscapes, for adventures, for portraits, for whatever it may be. That 50 megapixels means you can blow up an image to the size of a billboard if you really want to do that. Or if you're not wanting to print out, you can crop in and effectively get a bit more zoom on your image that you wouldn't have necessarily been able to get before. And this works by taking eight photographs, moving the sensor half a pixel in each direction, stacking these images together, and there you go. You get a 50 megapixel and in RAW as well. So it'll do both JPEG and RAW. Now, if you are out and about taking this adventure and you're wanting to capture the moment, there's a feature in here called Pro Capture. Now, what this does is it will take up to 14 images before you press the shutter button so that if you do miss that crucial point, whether it be somebody jumping in the swim pool, maybe it's a kingfisher, regardless of whatever it is, if you miss that moment or you're taking a photograph that relies on your reaction times, you can switch it to Pro Capture and let the camera do the rest of the work for you. So what you can do is when you press the shutter button, you can go back in time and have a look at up to 14 photographs before you even press the shutter button. So any high speed sport or whatever it may be really that requires a fast reaction, you know this camera's got you covered there as well. Now if you want to slow things down and do a bit of light painting or slow shutter speed, maybe you want the star trails or you want the car light streaking past you out on your adventure, maybe in a new city or wherever you may be, this does have a feature called Live Composite, which is something that the OMD brand has had for a long time now, but it works perfectly in this camera and will allow you to do light painting without having to worry about your image overexposing. So what this means then is you can see the image developing live on screen before you even finish the image. So normally on a long exposure, you'd have to press it and then press it to stop and then it would reveal your image there. On this one, you don't have to do that. You just press it going and you watch it develop live on your screen and then stop it when you're ready. Again, without having to worry about your image getting too bright. 
The next best thing here is the in-body image stabilizer. So when we were talking about the older lenses earlier, this will still work because it works in the body. So you're not relying on a lens having image stabilizer here. So regardless of what lens you stick on there, you know you're gonna have full five and a half stops of image stabilizer in there. So you've got all five axes working together, which means that when you move this way, the sensor will move that way to combat your movement. It's the same movement in the sensor that we used for the high res mode that I talked about earlier. If you pair it with some compatible lenses, you will get up to six and a half stops, which is absolutely class leading for this category of camera. Now this will work in both photographs. So again, if you wanted to do slow shutter speed handheld, it will work for that perfectly, or it will also work in the video. Talking of video for all you movie makers out there, it will shoot in 4K as well. And if that isn't quite good enough for you, there is a better cinema 4K, which will also enable you to shoot in a flat color profile. If you're not bothered about resolution and you're wanting more of a slow motion effect, then you're covered here as well. So you can shoot up to 120 frames a second, which means you can slow down slow motion to a quarter of the speed of real time which is perfect for the slow motion adventure videos. Now maybe you're not bothered about all that type of thing and you're just wanting to do a vlog to record your adventure or your holiday or whatever experience you may do it. You're covered here because you can plug in a little microphone on the side using the microphone in port. You can pair this with your very angle screen and suddenly you've got a full vlog set up in a nice compact body. If you compare this to an average DSLR, then you realize that this is a much more lightweight and compact system which still covers you for nearly everything that you can throw at it. When you've finished your adventure and then you want to share your experience with your family and friends, you can send it to your phone using the Olympus Image Share app, which connects via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and enables you to control the camera with your phone as well. So if you stick the camera on a tripod um, and to take a family photograph or a group shot or an adventure picture of you still at the top of a mountain, you can press the shutter button with your phone, you can compose and see what you're doing beforehand and then send it directly to your phone afterwards. So you can select all your images, send them, download them to your phone, and then you're good to go and you can send them straight to your family and friends or upload them to your social media sites. So I hope this video has answered a few questions for you. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.